Well, Ross, these 12 candidates are here tonight, either Republican or Democrat, running for the Senate or the House of Representatives. And since Oklahoma is 49th in the nation for public school funding, they're telling us how they plan to change this. We randomly picked two of these candidates off this stage. Curriculum Republican Katie Hinkey and her opponent, Democrat Dan Arthrell. They both want to represent District 71, which covers Tulsa Public Schools. 49th is absolutely not okay with me. I want to be in the top 10. Arthrell says if elected, he wants to fight for teachers. He says it's hard to keep and recruit really good ones. Teachers are stolen away every year from Oklahoma. They go to Texas and other places where the wages are higher. I'm not only a candidate, but I'm a teacher. And so I've spent the last seven years in the classroom, and I can speak firsthand to the issues. Hinky also wants to fund teachers and reduce class sizes. We need to be looking at ineffective tax credits. We need to be looking at um, agencies that aren't that aren't working for us. But we'll talk about it and we'll see. This woman, Marlo Perkins Sipes, organized this forum. 6 until 8 p.m. She started the group. 49th is not okay back in April. It's now big enough to get lawmakers' attention. What a great opportunity. It's an election year. And so this is an opportunity for parents to come together and ask the questions that are important to our children and how it's going to affect their classroom. Sipes says legislators have cut public school funding by $200 million in just three years. At the same time, Oklahoma's schools are growing. They've got about 22,000 more students. It's hard to manage a classroom when you have 35, 40 kids to one teacher in it. The group 49th is not okay has no political affiliation. In Midtown Tulsa, I'm Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.